Hi guys, it's Shana. Today um, I'm going to do a Leona Lewis look which I saw at, um, I wasn't there but I was watching it on um, Hackney Weekend and I was really inspired by her makeup because I thought that it just looked really just quite nice and summery and good for spring and summer even though it's not very summery. Well today it is but it will be terrible again tomorrow. But anyway, um, I've already moisturised my skin with Spoonful and I've left it for 5 minutes to sink in because I have quite a um, oily face recently so and now I'm going to use my stippling brush and I'm going to use my new NYC foundation um, it's all day long smooth skin foundation and because it's quite pale, I'm going to mix it with Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Foundation, which is a bit too dark for my skin, so together they might make a little bit of a normal skin colour for me. So I'm just going to squirt the one on two pumps onto my hand, even though it's running out, so I'll have to squeeze it quite a few times. And then two my other foundation and now I'm going to use my JC Nardia stippling brush looks like that and I'm gonna mix it together just got it on my trousers great on my hand I'm just gonna fill my face blend it really well and this brush has a lot of fallout which is really annoying because then you have to pick off of your face afterwards but I don't have that much money at the minute so I can't buy a good one although I want a real technique to be in rush but I have to get a job fast not that I'm not trying and then I'm going to get some concealer and this is Too True um, three in one concealer, nearly ran out. I'm just gonna get as much of that out as I can and just put it on my blemishes. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks and my chin because I have oily skin. Underneath my eyes. Because even though I do get a good night's sleep, it's, I still get dark circles and bags. I'm starting to think it's just my skin. Just need my stippling brush again to push that into my skin. And then I'm going to use natural collection and it pops so I just crushed it and turned it into more of a mineral powder but this is cool and it's just the pressed powder and I'm just gonna get my powder brush it hasn't got any mud anymore but I think it's from Avon but I'm just gonna put that on and then tap off the excess and then just go along my cheeks down my nose and this is just so I don't have the problem of my blusher sticking to my foundation and just being a big block of pigmented pink fur on my cheek and now I'm going to use my Avon bonding pearls I'm going to use the same powder brush and I do clean it afterwards so I don't end up with a orange face all over. I'm just going to go down the sides of my face. And then down the sides of my cheeks. Now I'm going to move 
contour my eyebrows and I'm going to use my very sharpened down eyebrow pencil with a little brush on the end and I'm just going to comb all my eyebrows out and Leona has Um, she's lengthening them out, but they're quite thin. Okay, just to make them a little bit less orangey and a bit more dark, I'm going to use that brown and my little my little slanted angle brush. I'm just going to just pack into my eyebrow. Gel. And you get a new one it's running out and it smells really really good. Just clean them out. And now I think I need to powder my face again because I have such oily skin that it didn't really do much at all. eyeshadow and I'm using my L'Oreal Paris palette but I've had this for quite a few years so it probably looks quite bad but I'm going to use that pink and that. I'm going to use the pink for the eyelid just all over I'm not going to do any different sort of colours and it's just going to go straight over and then that one underneath because she has quite a pink shimmery shadow but it's really light on her eyelid. Just gonna put it on. And now I'm going to go in with my I don't know what this what this is from, but it's intense colour, I think it's from Avon and it's just a black coal pencil. I'm just going to line my waterline just lightly. don't want it to be very black because the top eyeliner is quite dramatic as well. And it also seems like she has a white highlight on the inside of her eyes so I'm going to use my Vivo white eyeliner pencil and it's got the little spongy thing on the other side so I can blend and I'm just gonna pop that there and there on both eyes There we go. Just brightens them and in the camera I look really like an alien. Sorry about that. But um, now I'm going to use my Maybelline gel eyeliner and it's just black. And I'm going to use the brush that came with it. It's just a little brush. I'm just going to try and do the eyeliner and I can never get eyeliner even so this might turn out as a complete fail but it's quite thick along the lid and then she's got a wing it's quite long but I don't want mine to be as thick as hers because I have quite big eyes and she has quite small cat eyes and I don't want to make myself look like I'm trying to be Cleopatra so I'm just going to try and make it a little less dramatic but get the point. I'm just gonna... And I've also finished my eyeliner so 
And the difference between me and Leona Lewis is that even though I have bigger eyes than her, I have hardly any eyelids. So it just looks like I've coated my eyelid, eyelid in black. But hopefully it doesn't look too bad. And it looks at least a little bit like hers. So I'm just going to now curl my eyelashes with my collection um, mascara. I'm just gonna coat that on quite thick on my eyelashes because she's wearing fake eyelashes I can tell but I'm not really up for fake eyelashes. Seeing as I'm probably going to take this off straight afterwards because this is a Sunday and I really don't want to now I need to be quite quick about this because my flipping camera just ran out of memory so I've just deleted a load of pictures but basically I've done my mascara and I've done it on the bottom lashes and now I'm just going to do my blusher and I'm going to pack it on just along that. So I'm going to get it and it's my natural collection, pretty basic pink cloud and I'm just going to get my smaller blush brush. And I'll make the side. And now, last but not least, before my memory runs out, I'm going to use my Barry M lipstick, and I don't know what colour it is, but it looks like that. And I'm just going to find the shape of my lips. Just to make it a little bit paler, I'm just going to go over it with my Revlon lipstick and nearly ran out of battery, but this is the look. I hope you like it. If you like it, like it on the video, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Sorry for posting so little, but bye!